Your program has estimated the annual vaccine needs for your district and determined that vaccines will be delivered quarterly. As a district manager, you need to make sure you have adequate cold chain storage capacity to keep the vaccines at their correct temperatures. If you do not, you risk damaging the vaccines. To determine if your cold chain storage capacity is sufficient, you will need to calculate the storage requirements for vaccines and the storage capacity of your existing cold chain equipment. If the storage volume required for your vaccines is greater than your existing cold chain storage capacity, you have a capacity issue that will need to be addressed. In this video, we will focus on calculating cold chain storage capacity. To calculate your cold chain storage capacity, you will calculate the capacity of each type of available cold chain equipment and then add those estimates together. Let us use this table to walk through the calculation. List the types of cold chain equipment you have, including equipment specifications. You can find these details in the WHO or UNICEF product information sheets, such as the one shown here, or the manufacturer's data. Or your program may use a table like this one, listing details and storage volumes for common refrigerators and freezers. Then, record the vaccine storage capacity of each piece of cold chain equipment in the appropriate temperature range column, depending on whether it is a refrigerator, cold room, freezer, or freezer room. Again, you can find these details in the WHO or UNICEF product information sheets or manufacturer's data. Specify how many pieces of each equipment type you have available. Then, for each type of equipment, calculate the total net vaccine storage capacity. You can get the total net vaccine storage capacity by multiplying the net vaccine storage capacity of each type of equipment by the number of pieces of that equipment. For example, one type of ice-lined refrigerator holds 169 liters. There are four of this type of refrigerator holding a total net volume of 676 liters. For each type of equipment, record total net vaccine storage capacity in the appropriate temperature range column. Once you have done this for each type of equipment, add the volumes together for each temperature category to get the total net vaccine storage capacity. In this case, there is a total freezer capacity of 528 liters and a refrigerator capacity of 1,063 liters spread over 10 pieces of equipment. Note that when ordering vaccines, make sure to leave spare storage space, a minimum of 25% of your total capacity, to allow for greater flexibility in stocking the vaccines. Also, keep in mind that ice packs take up storage space as well. You will need to perform additional calculations to estimate the number of ice packs required and the space needed to freeze them. Once you know your cold chain storage capacity, you will then estimate your vaccine storage requirements to determine if you have sufficient space. To do that, you can use a table like this one. You would calculate the total storage volume for each type of vaccine according to temperature range. Then you would add the volumes together to get the total vaccine storage volume required. This calculation is covered in more detail in a separate video. Once you know your cold chain storage capacity and vaccine storage requirements, you can determine if you have sufficient cold chain capacity to store the vaccines. A table like this can help. List your vaccine storage requirements, 
and available cold chain storage capacity for both temperature ranges. For each type of storage, subtract the required storage from your available capacity. If the result is a negative number, you have a shortage issue that will need to be addressed. For example, let us say you had 1,063 liters of refrigerator and cold room space available. You need 1,200 liters for an incoming vaccine shipment. When you subtract 1,200 from 1,063, you get a negative number. That means you will need to find additional cold chain storage space to safely store all your vaccines. In this video, we looked at how to calculate cold chain storage capacity and determine if there is sufficient cold chain storage capacity for your vaccine requirements.